sweetest disposition. One guess, guess who? Who never, never starts an argument? Who never shows a bit of temperament? Who's never wrong but always right? Who never dream of starting a fight? Who gets stuck with all the bad luck? No one but Donald Duck.
chestnut curl. Dumb frog and sweat hot slabs. Guess what? I'm not a man, I say. Guess what? With large hot sugary hands.
this is a story about an elephant. Oh, not an ordinary elephant. A very small elephant. His name was Goliath II, and he was hardly any bigger than one of his father's toenails. Hey, Pop! Hi! But his father, Goliath I, was a mammoth tusker, the biggest elephant in all the jungle. And in elephant society, the bigger you are, the better you are. Big Goliath had always wished for a son who would grow to be a giant like himself. Gee whiz! That was great! Look at Pop! Watch me, Pop! And to be blessed with such a tiny, insignificant son was, of course, a tremendous disappointment. I'll show you, Pop! A gigantic blow to his enormous pride. Some father you are. Shame on you, you, you big overstuffed blimp. You see, his mother, well, like most mothers, was proud of her little son, no matter what. Now, now, don't worry, son. Brute strength isn't everything. You'll amount to something someday. Just wait and see. But raising such a tiny son in the savage, unfriendly jungle was a big problem and a constant worry. Her number one worry was Raja, a crafty old tiger who could hardly take his greedy eyes off little Goliath. <laughs> All his life, he'd been curious to taste an elephant. And now, at last, he'd found one just bite size. And at the very first opportunity... <gasps> you bloodthirsty old scoundrel! Eloise! Why don't you watch where you're going, you, you clumsy ox? Now, don't you clumsy ox me. I can't watch out for your precious little brat. That's your worry. If you think I'm going to pussyfoot around the rest of my life just because... Goliath! Goliath! <sighs> oh, Goliath, what on earth will I ever do? Goliath, could we 
delicious. Oh. not to wander off that way. Now you stay right here. You're getting to be a terrible nuisance. Now stop being a pest. Goliath was very tired of being treated like a baby. He was nine years old. At least he would be in eight months. And he could take care of himself. And if he was nothing but a pest, oh, well, then all right. He'd run away. That's what he'd do at the very first chance, too. the end of old Raja. At least he was never seen again. But it wasn't the end of Goliath's troubles. Oh, not by any means. You see, according to the elephant law, deserting the herd is a major offense. And the deserter is branded a scoundrel, a rogue elephant, a traitor to that high and imperial order of pompous pachyderms. But worst of all, he had disgraced his great father.
Goliath's mother was so terrified that for the first time in her life, she forgot all about her tiny son. And little Goliath was left alone to face the terror of all terrors. <laughs> oh, oh, amazing! I can't understand it. Those big blimps are afraid of... Hey, what's this? What's the trouble, Buster? Scared stiff. I'm not scared at all. You're not? I'm just as big as you are. Well, that's not the point, kid. I'm a mouse. You're an elephant. At least you look like one. You got a trunk. <laughs> Flappy ears. <laughs> Baggy pants. <laughs> look, kid. I'll give you a break. I'm gonna count to three. And then, if you are not gone, I'll tear you to shreds! Here goes. One. Better get moving. Two. I'm warning you, kid. Three. Okay. You asked for it, Buster! be murdered. Just win. Murder. Oh. <laughs> you smart aleck little punk. Oh, brother, this is pitiful. for his extraordinary bravery, Goliath was given the very highest position in the elephant herd. A place of honor on his father's head. And his mother's worries were over. For now, the whole herd looks after her precious little Goliath. They wouldn't lose him for anything in the world. Can you bounce? Can you bounce? 